Cinema is a creative medium that has the power to influence people to an insane degree. And the same can be said about fashion. It's no surprise that when these two platforms intertwine, they manage to leave a lasting imprint on society and change the way we dress. Especially as filmographers have proven throughout the decades that they can capture iconic aesthetics in their full glamour and make them stand out in a way that even runways can't. Designers have been working with film production crews for decades upon decades in order to create styles and garments that capture a specific look and energy, and this has led to them producing some of the most inspirational movies in the world of fashion. These films and shows have managed to push new movements into everyday culture and have changed the way everyone dresses. From the newer, more trendy generations to the older, more classic style oriented generations. We're starting off with Sex and the City. Although not a movie, it was revolutionary when it debuted back in 1998. It was one of the first shows which openly showed and discussed sexuality, and it also inspired a generation of 2B fashionistas with its creative garments and usage of high fashion brands. Each of the iconic four ladies on the show had their own unique style, mixing and matching luxury pieces from Vivian Westwood and other couture brands with budget-friendly finds from thrift shops and local artisan markets. Sex and the City is popular for popularizing the so-called street-style fashion that many women are fond of today, and the show inspired many editorial looks and columns for some of the leading fashion media. And to be fair, who can forget Carrie and her love for Manoro Blacknick heels? After all, the brand was one of the biggest beneficiaries of the show's fashion-oriented approach. I need these for the winter luncheon. Now, the heels are... In our fourth spot, we have Clueless. The 90s was a wild time for fashion and experimentation, with teen dramedies like Clueless influencing the styles of teenagers and young adults around the globe. The 1995 movie was a hit that continued to inspire younger audiences years after its release. The film's opening scenes featured the main character, Sher, picking out an outfit for her first day of school, a yellow plate ensemble. At school, she meets up with her best friend, who's also wearing a plate outfit, this time in black and white. Teenage girls loved the film and instantly took to its aesthetic. Wearing plaid suits became a trend that everyone adopted, as it made the characters stand out and appear individualistic and daring. With Clueless maintaining its popularity throughout the 2000s and even the 2010s, Shur's distinct style never fell off and is still considered fashionable to this day. Oh, tell me about it. This weekend he called me up and he's all, "Where were you today?" I'm like, "I'm at grandma." Next up is the Devil Wears Prada. Whenever someone talks about fashion movies, there's no film more iconic than The Devil Wears Prada. It does an amazing job of using satire to showcase the world of fashion behind the world of fashion. Following the life of the assistant to the most powerful editor in fashion, Anna Wintel, audience members get a glimpse of the controversy and spite that's an everyday part of the fashion magazine business. With an uncanny resemblance to Vogue, the film focuses on the power that's in the hands of a small, selected group of individuals who decide what's a classic outfit, what's going to be a short-lived trend, and what's a crime against fashion. It's no surprise that The Devil Wears Prada left such a huge cultural impact, to be fair, as it's based on the novel written by Wintour's former PA. Also, fun fact, Anna Wintour attended the movie's premiere wearing... Prada. Where are the belts for this dress? Is no one ready? For our runner-up, we have Annie Ho. Moving away from the world of high fashion and moving into the world of counterculture, Annie Ho, the titular character of the film, is iconic thanks to her androgynous style. Character is written as a free-spirited young woman who has no care for societal norms and instead does as she pleases, including fashion. You can see her wearing men's khaki pants, vests, and neckties as a regular part of her everyday aesthetic. The character was very uncommon for the 70s, but was an instant hit thanks to Diane Keaton's on-screen charisma. As it turns out, Woody Allen gave her creative freedom over her character's attire, so you can see that the actress had already decided what Annie would be like. And while designer Ralph Lauren supplied the clothes, he credited Keaton for the style. Women everywhere went on to adopt Anyhow's unique style, and fashion designers like LV and Ralph Lauren take inspiration from her to this day. You, you play very well. Oh yeah, so do you. Oh God, what a... And our number one spot is Breakfast at Tiffany's. 
Audrey Hepburn's role as Holly is legendary, and it's not just because of her acting. The movie starts out with the main character having breakfast at Tiffany in a little black dress designed by Givenchy, huge pearls, and sunglasses. And while it's implied that she's been out all night living the life, she looks glamorous. Later on in the film, she's wearing another little black dress. It's all about that little black dress and Hepburn's elegant visage while wearing it. Her exquisite style inspired women throughout the decades to want that same look and the unspoken aura that comes with it. Her character launched aesthetic elements throughout the globe that are still synonymous with the high life to this day. And not just the dress, but also the blue jeans and grey sweater look, the beige trench coat, the oversized glasses, things that are considered fashion staples in the 2020s. While these elements are simple, there's more to them than meets the eye. She's a model, believe it or not, and a thumping more. Thanks for watching, guys. Do you have a favorite fashion trend inspired by a film? Or maybe a film inspired your style? Let us know in the comments! Don't forget to like the video and subscribe for more trivia and lists related to pop culture and fashion. Thank you again and see you next time!